Migrants from the southern border have been arriving in Denver by the hundreds this week. 300 people just yesterday headed to the city's intake center where they're connected to organizations willing to provide temporary shelter. The city keeps that intake center open seven days a week, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., but obviously sometimes people arrive after hours. We got to look at what exactly happens in those scenarios. So the city's Department of Human Services told us the majority of new arrivals do show up when the intake center is open, but there's no real guidance for people who show up overnight. The city suggests that they just try to find space at a traditional shelter. This morning, we talked to a group of five people who got into Denver at about 11 o'clock last night. They ended up choosing to sleep on the street for the night while they waited for the intake center to open this morning. City-run facilities are not currently being used to shelter migrants. It's other partner shelters that are currently sheltering nearly 1,900 people. That is a peak in Denver's sheltering efforts so far. Tomorrow, the mayor is going to provide an update on a situation that's becoming more complicated by the day. And obviously, huge overlap with that sheltering effort and the homeless sheltering effort. Should note, when it comes to the southern border situation, Denver dropped its state of emergency, opening up new avenues of operation last month because new arrival numbers have fallen off so far.